Welcome back to Tad Talks, where every week I sit down with my dad and sustainability expert Tad Radzinski to ask him questions about sustainability topics. In last week's Tad Talk, we discussed how to design packaging and products to be more sustainable, reusable, and recyclable. And today we're going to talk about the root causes of ocean plastics and plastic pollution. So today we are doing stream cleanup. We've cleaned up all this trash from this area on the stream down here. And Todd, take it away. Okay. So, uh, like Juliana said, a lot of times we're you know thinking about how we design more sustainable products and that kind of thing. However, what we are finding in our stream cleanup today is there's just an unbelievable amount of trash that people throw out of their cars or blows out of garbage trucks. And today we're in the upper upper watershed of the uh, Perkyoma watershed, and uh, we're on a small creek called Schoolhouse Run, which is right down here behind us. And Schoolhouse Run eventually runs into uh, the, the Perkyoman Creek. Perkyoman Creek eventually runs into the Schoolkill River. Schoolkill River eventually runs into the Delaware Bay, or the Delaware Bay, and then you're suddenly in the ocean. So just to give you an idea of some of the things we found today, uh, basically found this in a creek. This is a standard water bottle that we all use. And when these things get out, out of the car, along the road, you get a big storm event where water basically from the storm washes this into the creek. This then becomes what we call ocean-bound plastic. So there's a lot of stuff that we got off the land here, like all along these guardrails and all this crap that we got here behind us. But this is something that had actually made its way into the creek. So this, you know, with the right storm event, will eventually float, float, float all the way down into the watershed, eventually get into the ocean. Some, you know, you can see here's some other things, other bottles that we found that were in there. Things like this, filled plastic that gets in there. We got cigarette butts, we got caps. You know, here's a cup from a, some, a Wendy's cup. You know, all kinds of crap, even foam peanuts. All of these things, if they're not managed properly, they get into the environment and they eventually get into these little creeks and they get down into the oceans. And our company, Green Circle Certified, certifies uh, for ocean, which actually takes care of cleaning all this stuff out of the oceans all over the world. And they're finding stuff like this all the way in the oceans. This We found this up here in this upper watershed, a beach ball. Look at this other big beach ball that was laying here. Eventually it could get into these little creeks and just flow down. So what I would say to people is don't litter. And imagine if you're in a city. We're out here in like a suburb. You can see there's all kinds of woods and trees and developments. But if you're in a city and you're throwing this stuff on the streets in the city, it's going to get washed down the street, eventually get into the storm drains. Storm drains go directly usually to some kind of water body, a creek or something like that. All those materials are going to flow eventually into the ocean somehow. So just because it's on the land way up here, a hundred miles from the Delaware Bay or the Atlantic Ocean, it will eventually get there, which is crazy. And it just is very sad to look at all this. In an hour and 10 minutes that we picked this up, uh, a group of us, and uh, you know, I, I really wanna thank my employees for coming out today and our friends who've come and just dedicated the time to do this. We do this every year with the Perkyoma Watershed. It's a great organization and uh, we try to support them. We usually do it in the spring, but this year because of COVID, we actually had to do it in the fall and it made it a little harder. The, the weeds are really high. We were like really digging through the weeds and you know, have to worry about ticks and stuff like that. But we got a lot of stuff out and we're excited to have uh, been able to do this. So do your part, don't litter. And if you get a chance to participate in these uh, stream cleanups all around the place, help out. That's all you can do. Uh, people just are pretty much pigs. <laughs> yep, exactly. Well, thank you so much, and thank you to everyone who helped pick all this stuff up. And if you haven't seen any of the other Tad Talks, you can check them out on Tad's YouTube channel.